So are you a Senna rider or are you a Cardo rider? Or do you have both? I actually have both, but part of the reason is because I've reviewed both of them in the past. Well, today I'm pretty excited because I have the Cardo Pack Talk Edge. This is their brand new Bluetooth communicator. Is it better than Senna? Is it as good as the Pack Talk Bold, which is a very good communicator? Let's find out. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruise Man's Reviews. Today I've got the brand new Cardo Pack Talk Edge. This is their newest Bluetooth communicator. And right now I want to first start out by just doing an unboxing video. We're going to open this up, see what's inside. And then I will install it on my HJC Cymax IS Max 2 helmet. And then we're going to head out to the garage and hook it up to the Goldwing and see how it pairs up and if it's reliable connection, Bluetooth connections and all that. And then we'll check out the audio. This has sound by JBL. It also has dynamic mesh. And it says it's operated by natural voice. I don't know what all that means right now. I understand the JBL part. I understand their dynamic mesh, which I believe is their next generation of mesh communications. And it also has Bluetooth. Up here it says Bluetooth 5.2. Um, we'll look back here on the back. Um, second generation dynamic mesh communications. Uh, air mount. This is something I'm very excited about. I, wanna, I can't wait to install this so I can show you how this works because I've seen it demonstrated. It looks really cool. Natural voice operation. Waterproof. That's a big selling point for Cardo headsets is they are waterproof. They're IPX rated. Um, some of the Senna headsets are not. They are not, they don't declare that they're waterproof. Now, whether or not they are or not is one thing. Uh, Universal Bluetooth intercom, which I think means you can connect this with other non-Cardo headsets. Uh, Over-the-air software updates using their app. Uh, down here in very fine print, it talks about Looks like you can connect up to 15 of these through Dynamic Mesh. Um, 13 hours of battery life. That's more than I ride in a day. I uh, believe it has a built-in radio, music streaming. Uh, you can also connect this to your phone and to a GPS. It's a multi-channel Bluetooth, so much like their previous uh, units, you can connect this to your, in, in my case, it's a Goldwing audio system. Uh, some people uh, will pair it to their phone because maybe you want to play your MP3 files if you don't have an audio system on your motorcycle. If you do have an audio system like a Goldwing or a BMW or one of the others that has audio with Bluetooth, uh, you could pair it to that and as well also pair it to an external GPS. So it has all kinds of pairing options. Okay, let's open it up, see what's inside. Very, very nice packaging as we've, oh, I hate to tear that, as we've come to expect from Cardo, they always do a very, very high quality packaging. We'll pull that off, set that to the side. Okay, very nice. Oh, wow. Beautiful. I love the matte gray, kind of a medium gray finish really really nice looking and they are kind of set in this little tray oh they're very thin what I'm anxious to see and I'm not holding out a lot of hope for this but this is a very very thin profile I'm anxious to see if I can have this mounted to my HJC helmet and still get the trunk to close without me having to take this off because right now with my other headsets, I have to remove the headset. My trunk won't close. I have to lay the trunk on its side in the helmet. I mean, I'm sorry, I have to lay the helmet on its side in the trunk, and then I have to pull off the headset, otherwise the trunk won't close. But this might be thin enough. One thing I noticed right off the bat, the little buttons. Cardo uses these three buttons, and these are more prominent. They're rubber, and they, they stick out further. So I think they're going to be easier to find with gloves on. 
So I like that. Now the wheel, the little control wheel, seems a little bit smaller, but I'm not sure it matters. I don't think you'll have any trouble finding that with a glove. And then on the back, we've got the electrical contacts. And there is no, I don't see an antenna, so the antenna must be internal to the unit. And then on the back here, we have, that might be USB-C charging port. We'll find out here in just a second. Okay, so there is that. Let's pull this out. And we have two heads. This is the Duo. So we got two of these in the kit. And then we have a little uh, Cardo sticker. Nice. Here's the installation guide. Looks to be pretty comprehensive, very graphical. Uh, doesn't look like it's anything too complicated. Okay, let's pull out this box and see what's in here. Really cool. There's two more little boxes. I'll just pull them both out. Okay, these are the uh, speakers for your helmet. Uh, this particular set of speakers has the three and a half millimeter jack. I like that. I like that it's a universal uh, plug. Here we have a, looks like a mount of some kind, um, like a clip mount. We have a USB-C cable, a charging cable. And we have, aha, this I think is the this is the mount that clips into this mount. You mount this on your helmet, and then this slips down in here. Um, this is a modular helmet, as you can see. I have already removed the cheek pads from the uh, helmet, as you can see here. And I've removed the speakers, uh, the headset, and the microphone from the Senna. The, here are the speakers. Um, they look about the same size as the ones I pulled out of the Senna 50C. These are JBL. So I know the, uh, the shorter cable is going to be the left side. So I'm going to go ahead and stay. Oh, by the way, I have already installed the Velcro inside this helmet. Uh, see if you can see that Velcro right there. I also carved out some of the foam on my helmet because uh, I tested some speakers a while back that were very large and I had to carve out that foam. You wouldn't have to do that for this particular installation. So this helmet's probably had at least 10 different headsets installed in it over the years. So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, left speaker. I'm just going to stick it onto the Velcro that I already have. And then I'm going to put the right speaker up here on the right side of the helmet onto that Velcro. And then I just simply, uh, my little headliner just snaps out too. There's a couple of snaps here and I always just pull the wire up under that head, that headliner and just to kind of tuck it in out of the way. And then I will re-snap that headliner in place. Just That just keeps the wires from hanging down, kind of makes a little bit nicer installation. And then this is the actual mounting bracket itself. It has the contacts where the headset goes in, and it also has the wires that go to the speakers and to the microphone. I'm going to use the clip because it's easier just to take in and take out. So that's how that mounts on there, like that. Those little tangs are kind of locked in place. If you want to remove it, you have to lift up on that little tab right there and then slip it out. Then it will come out. So it locks in place. So it feels solid. Now let's see if I can't clip this onto the helmet. There we go. I had to come back a little farther. I need to make sure my helmet will close and it will. No problem there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my speakers, which is this little uh, three and a half millimeter jack to the plug here. I love that setup. It's not really a proprietary system, and I can hide this behind my uh, helmet liner. I have some Velcro already installed 
in my helmet because I've had these installed before. I have installed um, both Cardo and Senna microphones, boom mics before. So there's some Velcro here and there's some Velcro up. I'm sorry, my little, there we go, Velcro right here. And this is the boom mic. Sometimes you have to kind of mess around with the positioning to get it so that it comes out right in front of your mouth. And that is how we mount the microphone. And I can move this out of the way. And once I get my cheek pad mounted, I can bend this up around it and it'll, it'll hold fine. I've done this before, so and we're just going to plug it in. It'll only go in one way, but there's a little arrow here. And there's a little arrow on the other and you just match those up and snap them together and now you've got your microphone connected and this is all going to fit up under the cheek pad so you don't have to worry about it being in the way so let me reinstall my cheek pad so let's get to the garage so the first thing we want to do is I'm going to pair this Cardo PackTalk Edge to my Goldwing audio system. So on the Goldwing, I'm going to get on the menu system, go down to audio settings, and then scroll down to Bluetooth setting, and then go to the Rider headset pairing. We want to make sure that's turned on, and you do that by making sure that little box is checked. Now we're going to put the Cardo into pairing mode. And we do that by first turning the unit on. You turn the unit on by pressing the phone button and that forward button simultaneously for just a couple of seconds. And you'll see the light come on. And then by just pressing and holding down the phone button for four to five seconds, it will put the headset into a pairing mode. And you'll know when that red and blue light start flashing that you are now in pairing mode and it is discoverable. Okay, once I see that blue and red light flashing, that means it's in pairing mode. Okay, it is a... Now, while the card is in pairing mode, we come back over to the Bluetooth setting screen and press enter on inquiry. And the Goldwing will start looking for Bluetooth devices to connect to. And unfortunately, this uh, searching headset screen doesn't just go away on its own. As soon as you see the PackTalk Edge down at the bottom of the screen, you can uh, click the Enter key when you have that Abort button up there. Just go ahead and click Enter and to get rid of that. And then scroll down to the PT Edge or PackTalk Edge. Press Enter again and it should connect to the headset. Once you see the device successfully paired, uh, that should be everything you have to do. Just hit the Enter key again to get rid of this dialog, and then go back to your main menu, and you should actually be able to hear music or sound coming through the headset at that point if you have a radio station selected. I was very impressed with how easily the PackTalk Edge can be removed and reattached to the base. Let's go back to the studio and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, well, let's see. I just got done testing with my final tests of this new Cardo Pack Talk Edge, and I'm just going to give you my final thoughts on. Uh, what I think about it, and I'm just going to tell you right up front, honestly, I'm not going to, you know, pull any punches here. First, I want to thank Cardo for sending me this Pack Talk Edge to test, and what I'm going to do is just kind of tell you who I think this is a good fit for, and who it's not a good fit for, and also, I'm just going to kind of give you the list of the, the good and the bad, you know, and I'm going to start with the bad first because I always like to kind of end on a positive note. So uh, the, the, the bad, the, the worst thing about this Pack Talk Edge really is in relationship to the Goldwing. Uh, it does not pair reliably to the Goldwing audio system. Now that is in part 
probably due to the Goldwing. The Goldwing Bluetooth system is, is not very reliable. I've had this problem with other headsets. It's not just this Cardo. Uh, you routinely have to uh, turn the unit on to try to get it to pair, and then you have to turn it off and turn it back on again. So it's, a, it's like double the work to get it to pair. And when you're connecting to your Goldwing audio system, uh, as far as this Cardo knows, you're connecting to a mobile phone. It thinks you're connecting to like your phone. So I'm going to blame most of that issue with the Goldwing Bluetooth. Uh, the second problem I had was getting this to pair to my GPS, which is an external uh, Garmin Zumo XT. And this does have two Bluetooth channels, so it can be paired to your mobile phone and a GPS, or it can be paired to two mobile phones, or it can be paired to a mobile phone and an external GPS, or in my case, a Goldwing and an external GPS. The idea being when you pair it to a second device, any audio that comes in from that second device will mute the audio on the first channel, so, for example, if my Garmin is trying to give me directions through the headset, it would mute the radio on the Goldwing, which is what's coming through on the first channel, and it would give me the directions from the GPS, and then it would unmute and go back to the audio on the uh, Goldwing. Or if you're listening to MP3 files on a mobile phone, it'd be the same thing on a mobile phone. Well, the first problem I had was getting it to pair to my Garmin, but that was, I don't, I wouldn't say it's my fault. I downloaded the manual from the Cardo website and I was following the instructions to a T to pair it and it just wouldn't pair. Come to find out, I finally got in touch with tech support and they sent me some instructions on how to do it, which said to press the phone button after it's in pairing mode. You tap the phone button, but the manual that I had said to tap this little, uh, I don't even know what you call this button over here, the one on the end. Basically, what happened is they had misprinted the manual. So I had a, a manual that was out of date that I had downloaded from their website. So that was part of the problem. Once I followed the new instructions, I was able to get it to pair to my Zumo XT. However, in my tests, uh, whenever the Zumo would kick in with any audio, it would mute my Goldwing audio, but then when it was finished, the Goldwing audio never came back. It just remained muted, and there was nothing I could do to get my music to come back. So it would interrupt the audio from the Goldwing like it's supposed to, but then the audio never came back. Very frustrating, and that was kind of it for me. I kind of figured, you know, uh, it's probably just not a good fit for a Goldwing rider. Now, um, the, other, the other bad issues are the buttons that you use to turn this on and to control these little three little buttons. They seem a little stiffer to me than previous, uh, like the Pack Talk Bold. Uh, they, they're a little hard to press with gloves on, and the volume wheel is smaller, so it's a, a little bit more difficult to get access to, but I never could get the volume wheel to work. It never did control the volume on the Goldwing. Maybe it does on a mobile phone. I didn't test that, but for controlling the Goldwing audio, it never would uh, go up or down. It would not have any effect on the volume. The overall volume of this uh, headset uh, was rather low. Um, on my Senna, I usually keep my volume on the Goldwing turned up to about 11 or 12, and that's more than enough volume for me when I'm riding around town. But on this, I had to keep it up at 17 or 18 just to be able to hear it. So I'm not sure why that is. I, I did go into the app, and they have a very nice app for, for adjusting the settings on this headset. I put the volume as high as it would go on all the settings still was not getting very much volume through the headset. If you've used a Pack Talk Edge, and if you've had any of these same experiences, please let me know in the comments down below. I want to make sure it's not just me. Now let's talk about what I like about this uh, Bluetooth headset. I did do some testing on the intercom between two of these headsets, and I can't tell any difference between these and the Pack Talk Bold. I'd say it's about the same. 
you know, line of sight I'm able to get on the open road, it was about oh, six tenths to seven tenths of a mile before it started breaking up a little bit. And that's pretty typical of every headset I've tested. I they keep they say they'll go a mile or two. I, I've never been able to get that. But it I, I would say it's no different than the Pack Talk Bold or the Pack Talk Black. One thing I do like about this is the form factor. It's very thin. It's the only Bluetooth headset that I've ever had mounted to my helmet where I could actually close my trunk lid on my 2018 Goldwing without having to remove the headset. I could actually get the trunk lid to close and latch. I can't do that with any of the Senna's. I can't do it with the Pack Talk Bold. I have to remove the headset before it will close. I also really love the magnetic uh, connect where you just basically slap it up next to the helmet and it just connects. It's very easy to take on and off with one hand. That is a very good design, very elegant. I like that. As far as the sound quality coming through those JBL speakers, I thought the sound quality, even though the volume is low, once you turn the volume up, I thought the sound quality was excellent. Maybe some of the best I've ever heard uh, through a Bluetooth headset. Very, very good sound. And I found the voice commands worked extremely well. So you can say, hey, Cardo, volume up. Hey, Cardo, volume down. And it will you know, respond and do what you're asking it to do. And there's a lot of different commands. That was the only way I could actually get the volume up on this unit because the wheel, I couldn't get the wheel to work. The other thing I think makes this such a popular headset and Cardo in general is that they claim to be waterproof and they're IPX rated to be waterproof. Uh, whereas some of the other brands out there are not waterproof. However, I want to put a caveat on that. Another thing I do like, and, and that kind of relates to this, is they've they've moved to USB-C charging as opposed to those old micro USB ports. The USB-C charging on the back of the unit is very nice. However, the little rubber flap that covers the USB-C port, it's very, very hard to get it to close. Mine keeps popping up. You have to really fiddle with it. And I'm thinking that that could really negatively impact how waterproof this is because if that little flap is not closed and you're in heavy rain and water gets in that USB-C port, uh, it's going to be bad. You can get it to close, but it, it, it is kind of finicky. So I think they might look at a way to maybe redesign that a little bit, make it a little bit more secure. Who is this for? Who's it good for? Who's it not good for? I can't recommend this if you own a, a Goldwing. If you're trying to connect this to a Goldwing audio system, I don't think there's any advantage of the Pack Talk Edge. I actually think the Pack Talk Bold and the Pack Talk Black is a better choice from Cardo for that reason. I think it connects better. I think, and, and I've never had the problem with the GPS uh, interruption issue. I've never had a problem with the Pack Talk uh, Bold or, or uh, Black, uh, but this one I did have that issue. If you do not ride a Honda Goldwing, uh, or if you ride a Honda Goldwing and you're not planning to connect it to the Goldwing audio system, if you're basically just using it as a two-way communicator, maybe also for phone calls, it's fine. It'd be a great, a great solution for that. I just use mine for mostly to listen to Goldwing audio. So for me, it's not a solution. But if you're just using it as a communicator to communicate with a passenger or to communicate with other riders that have Cardo headsets, it's an excellent, uh, it'll be excellent, you know, for you. Okay, that's my review of the Cardo Pack Talk Edge. Uh, I'm hoping they can get some of these things resolved. I'm also hoping that Honda will do something with the Bluetooth on the Goldwing to make it a little more up to the standards of what, because like I said, when I rode the BMW, I didn't have any trouble getting headsets to connect to that BMW. I uh, hope to have an Indian in here soon and test it, and I'll let you know how that goes. I will be testing this headset with the Indian as well. So anyway, if you like this video, please take a second to click that like button. That really, really makes a huge difference in helping out our channel. And uh, if you have a Pack Talk Edge or uh, you've had any experience with it, let me know in the comments down below. And I will look for you on the next Cruise Man's Reviews.